any good for what you Ooh, want to do. Great. Splendid. Thank you. I've got the theme set up. I'll okay. put it on now. Hello. Let's pretend. Fascinating theme that could be. Could be someone or something pretending to be someone or something else. I've got uh, just such a thing down here. Obviously, it's a jungle scene, but watch and you'll see something stir. And out we come. Well, of course, it really could only have been a tiger or a zebra, couldn't it? Now, let's do something else. Here's a river with a log floating in it, and I'm going to draw another log up here. We'll have a bit of trunk coming off there. And that, of course, is the end that we see like that. And just a few markings on the log and some colour. A bit of green and a bit of yellow. Drag those two colours together, make it brighter. A little bit of colour down on that end. And now some indication of water. So a few blue lines. I don't know if you've come across these pens before. They're very useful because you can take a brush and some clean water and turn the lines into watercolour, literally. That is now watercolour. And so there we have a much more watery looking river with two logs floating in it. Or is that what we have? Because one of these logs is on the move and we can see it's something quite different. great painter. Now, I haven't actually managed to get my own computer yet, unfortunately. But have a look at this over here. I've made a pretend computer. Started off with a box shape, a tissue box shape, perhaps. I actually made my own. Then I cut out a screen shape. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make strips of colour oops, stand up. Now, I'll show you how I did this. Have a look over here. Here's the base. Now what you need is your strip of colour. Piece of tape, you see I just put a little flap there, a bit of tape, oh, in the middle, stick that down. There we are. The next thing you need is your lever, another strip with a little flap and some tape on the bottom. Put that right on the edge of the strip. There you are. There you've got your lever. Now, the next thing you need to do is you need your control box. Have a look back here and I'll show you. It's a sort of flat box shape. I was looking around at some boxes. Any flat box shape would do, although I actually did make my own box here. And the trick is that you actually want these strips to stand up. And if you look back here, I'll show you how I did that. Here's the actual box shape. 
and I got a piece of paper like this, which is the same width as the box. It's got some tape either side and some very thin strips of tape which will just go in between the holes. Stick that down, like that. Stick your box back together. I've, of course, got good old double-sided here, which is much quicker. You can use glue, though. Oops, is that in position? Not quite. Oh, no, just unstick that. There we are. There's your control box. Now what you want to do is feed your lever through. And the next thing you do is you put your little button on. It's a strip of paper which I folded in half and then folded back on itself the two sides. Just put that in position, check it straight. There we are. There's your strip. Now, the next stage is a very exciting part. In fact, it's the part where you want to make your discs. If you look here, I've made a slit along the top. And it's actually just slightly wider. I'll just show you again, slightly wider than the screen. And here are the discs. And what you want to do here is you want to try and conceal what you're trying to show. This is a piece of acetate, and I've got lots of different shapes stuck on. If I put it in the computer, have a look. Does that mean anything? No. What about that one? No. The middle one? A rocket? And another one that I did over here was cut out letter shapes. And it's not until I put it in the box you can see what it is. And one more thing about these discs, let's take it out, is that you've got to make little extensions on the, on the top of the disc so that it won't slip all the way through. Now, I've been going on with my computer and I made a much more, well, I think a much more elaborate computer over here. Just have a look at this. Five knobs this time. Let's just stand over here and have a look. And if you look at little buttons, they're actually paper cubes. Now, another disc inside. Let's see. Does that mean anything? No. I know. Have a look at that. Club meat. That could be your secret code. Put those down. And this one, well, I actually thought if you had this computer around your house, you could leave messages for your family. Let them know what you're up to. Everyone's favourite doing their homework. Watching TV, perhaps. How about this one? Listening to your records? Playing some sport? And one more, going to bed. And I was thinking while I was making this, if you'd actually find it easier, why don't you write into Heartbeat and we can send you a worksheet? And then you can see how to do it. Dum, 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 dum.